we've been doing this particular head-to-head -head challenge for 50 years, and you loyal readers have never felt compelled to tell us to stop. The occasion for this particular comparison test is Ford's launch of the Bigly Refresh 2018 Mustang. For the purposes of this story, we got our hands on the GT Performance Pack 1. Why not the recently announced P-Pack 2? Because Ford isn't releasing it until May. Representing Chevrolet's interests is the Camaro SS1 the unchanged since 2016. Both our tested cars came with a 6-speed manual transmission, though the new Mustang is available with a 10-speed automatic. Let's first break down the carryover Camaro SS. The Chevy comes packing a stout 6.2-liter pushrod V8 that pumps out 455 horsepower and 455 pounds to foot of torque. Onela is Camaro code for a track-oriented adoption pack. All Onela Camaros come with a black hood, black mirrors, blacked out other bits, and a manual transmission. The SS Onela gets magnetic ride control, GM's Trick L Strand and 5 levels of performance traction management, aka PTM, Brembo brakes, and sticky Goodyear Regal F1 Super Car 3 tires. It also has a dual-mode exhaust and coolers for oil, the differential, and the transmission. Our car came with the optional recaro seats and performance data recorder, a nifty built-in camera system to help you work on your lap times. All in, this red Chevy will set you back $46,295, an $8,300 bump over the Camaro SS base price of $37,995. For the first time in history, a production Mustang 5.0 displaces more than 5,000 cubic centimeters. The old Coyote V8 displaced 4,951 cubes. Ford Performance changed out the cylinder liners, using the same plasma transferred wire arc process as the GT Supercar. As such, the bore is now 93 mm, up nearly a millimeter, and total displacement is 5,038 cc. Because the bore is larger, the valves can be, and are, larger. The cylinder heads are new, as are the camshafts, the crankshaft and the rod bearings. This new engine also revs 500 revolutions per minute higher to 7,500 revolutions per minute. The 2018 Coyote engine provides both port and direct injection, and because of the cooling effect of DI, the compression ratio is now a relatively lofty 12 to 1. As you've probably guessed by now, power is up, going from 435 to 460 horsepower, 5 horsepower more than Chevy. Torque also is up by 20 pounds to foot to 420 pounds to foot, though 35 less than Chevy. The six-speed manual sports new gears, optimized for the engine's healthier output. The 2018 Mustang also gets updated and, according to my Instagram followers, polarizing new sheet metal. Ford's decision to take the Mustang Global means that the car is subject to Europe's restrictive pedestrian safety regulations, which often have an adverse effect on design. That's the why the headlights are so tiny while the hood is so bulbous. The coolest change to me is the big 12.4-inch instrument panel. It's bright and readable, has different displays for different modes, the track screen, specifically the way Ford made the tachometer look, is particularly good, and works well with the Mustang's pleasant innards. Sadly, like too many Ford screens these days, there's too much information displayed and or something always prompting you to hit OK. Ticking the box for Performance Pack 1 adds such features as a big wing, black aluminum wheels, Michelin PS4 tires, Brembo brakes, a dual-mode exhaust, a strut tower brace, a K-brace, stiffer front springs, a thicker rear anti-roll bar, a larger radiator, a Torsen limited slip differential, retuned electric steering assist, stability control, and ABS, and unique chassis tuning. To even up things as much as possible, our test car had optional magnetic dampers, Magnride and Ford Speak. Sadly, we asked for but didn't get the available Recaro Sport seats. Total price, $49,670, a $9,675 jump over the GT's base price. Does the Mustang feel $3,375 more special than the Camaro? No. However, the Ford's interior does look and feel about $2,000 nicer. Before we get to the numbers, we should talk about each car's inherent pony car credentials. Meaning that yes, when you're sitting at the bar arguing with the jerk who owns the car you don't, 0 to 60 miles per hour is hell important. International Bureau Chief Angus McKenzie calls that stuff pub ammo. 
However, out on the street, numbers really don't matter all that much.